Scroll navigation is something that has been with websites for a long time, especially if you're working with very lengthy pages. You know, you have some pages that goes on forever and ever, and you want people to have the ability to navigate around the page. So we put these little dots around on the sides so that people can click and it can take them to specific places within the document. Many page builders do not come with this feature included, and that's why you can get plugins for it or the theme may include it. And in this case, you can also get it with Jet Elements. Let's have a look at how the scroll navigation works. I've dragged in some random sections from Jet or rather from Crocoblox. So just the nonsensical page here. And this was done, of course, in Elementor because Jet Elements is for Elementor and you can see here on this side. One of the features that Elementor had added recently, which I like a lot, is the Navigator. Go here to the bottom on the second from the left navigator and then you will see within this document that we have five sections of course you can go into uh, drop down menus and sub menus for this but the reason i'm showing you this is because when it comes to the scroll navigation the sections are important and when you are working with a page that is laid out like this you may not always know where the sections are let's go and look for that little widget called scroll navigation. You can just type in scroll navigation. And what I found is you can drop this anywhere in your site. It's a non-displayable element. You know, in the old days, not old days, we still talk about non-printable elements when we work with things like InDesign and Word. This is a non-displayed element, which means you can drag it anywhere. And I'm going to drag it here at the bottom and drop it there it's not going to display on your page itself. It's just there as a marker, more or less. So what I want to do now is I want to go and give my sections an ID, CSS ID, so that I can recognize them and then I can scroll around. You can see already here, by default, it added three dots here on the right. And if we go and click on that scroll navigation widget, you will see section one, section two, section three. We have to name these now so that the scroll navigator knows where to go. I'm going to stick around with three because I'm not going to put a navigation in here. I'm going to put in one for the second section. So I'll just click here on the second section, which is this one. And then you see it highlights here on this side. Go to advanced and then on your CSS ID, you type in a one word thingy with no spaces and make it something that isn't repeated anywhere else on your site. I'm just going for one, 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 one. The next one is I want to go for this section, which is, I believe, section four, but I'm going to give it my ID. It already has an ID brought in from the settings. And this one I'm going to go two, 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 right? And then the last one, we this one going to make it section three 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 now i've given my sections names now i just need to connect them to these dots so how i do this is i go back to my scroll navigation and i'm struggling here with a cat who's walking all over the keyboard so let's go to section one and now i assign the section id to that section that i had labeled one 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 and i can even give it a name for example what is it? That section was section two. Let's see what it featured. Uh, about us, something like that. Let's go down, down again to this. And we just give it a name here and we can call it the label about us. Now you will see as it updates here on the right, it will give us the dot and about us. If I click on this now, it will take me to that section. The next section is going to be, let's call that one a portfolio. So go to section two. I assign the section ID, which is 2222. That's what I gave it. And I'm going to call it portfolio. It's not correct. It's just an example. And then for the third one, I will call this section. Well, it is 333 and I will call it contact. That's where you can contact us. And that is what it is all about. You can see this is how it's going to work. You can scroll around and closing out the navigator, we can update it so you can have a look how it will display on the front end. 
wait for it to update nice there you go so you see there are three states here the inactive is this gray bar the active is the green and then the hover click is ah is blue is the active and the hover click is green and then you have the label on this side if you were to go into the styling section you can style all those colors so let's go have a look at the dots let's make the normal color uh, let's yeah let's go with the active color and we change that one first dot style we make the color and choose background color and we make it red let's see if it updates do, do, do. update click on that you see now it is red let's go to hover change that color background type background color let's make it black no let's let's make keep it this teal color and click on here click on here just click out and now it will update so the hover hasn't updated it is still that green color and i found earlier i couldn't get it to update let me use black so that is more clear for the hover state mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yep it's not updating it's one of the things that i did see earlier and then for normal that is the gray i'm pretty sure that one we can change easily background color let's put it on this page okay that one was done very easily i want to go to hover again and just make sure that we've done everything correct background color is on black okay let's update it and go look on the front end maybe it will display there but i have found a little bit okay the red and no hover you see the hover is not working on this for some reason when i go and change the colors myself not working but you do still get your active and your normal state that you can also do your styling with your label right so you can change the color and the font and everything with your label i don't like this label actually i prefer only the dots to give people an idea you can add the label if you want to your problem with the label is probably going to come in with mobile you see it, it's going to be weird on mobile to see this because you're not going to hover over it so that is something that you have to take into consideration so because of that i prefer not to have a label going back to content to settings and then here where am i first i have to click on my dot navigation scroll navigation so under items what you do now is you go to your items and then you remove your label and you remove your icon and you will now see once we do that for all of them remove the label remove the icon did i remove it yes remove the label remove the icon and of course if you want to do this style it from the beginning like this so you don't have to go it manually every time now you only have the dots oh that one still has an icon item number two such a small x there we go other thing that i would probably like to do go back to the dots i want to change the size of that dots they are way 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 too big for me okay let's font size and it's not changing a box size box size there we go Ooh, way big okay so it's box size there we go i like that better let's change that right okay good that is your scroll navigation it is a very useful feature if you have a very lengthy website or if you have particular things that you want to draw people's attention to again it is something that you have to consider in terms of the day of mostly desktop viewing for websites and it can become a little bit of a problem on your tablets and your mobile so you have to think very carefully before you populate your mobile with these dots because it begins to look quite crowded and quite squashed in over there and it could always be for people with big hands like me a little bit cumbersome you try to click on it and you actually click on two dots at the same time and it doesn't work so be well cognizant of how you are going to be using this on your website whether you truly need it if your website has maybe to the top button at the bottom then i think sometimes that is more than enough but there are some sites out there that i've seen that has marathons of pages they are just too long i thought that was something we did back in the 2000s before 2010 but it seems there is still 
quite popular for people to have these pages that go on like an exodus forever and ever. So the scroll navigation, a nice feature, especially we use this kind of dot navigation when we have a one pager website. It's just something that has happened over time that once you have a one pager website, we include the dot navigation because with one page websites, things can become quite lengthy. Hope this video was useful. And if you ever use the scroll navigation, feel free to share a link for us at the bottom. I'm always interested in how other people apply elements. And actually, do you even use elements of this nature? My, my feeling is often that out of 100 elements, only 20 get used all the time. I really like the 80-20 rule is that 20 elements out of 100 gets used 80% of the time and the other 80 gets only used around 20% of the time, if, if that makes sense. This is JP here with Websites for Beginners. If you are interested in getting Jet Elements, please follow the affiliate links below. You can buy them either as a package from Coroco Block or you can get them at Template Monster as an individual plugin. And that will probably cut your cost quite a lot because you only have to get the stuff that you want. And an affiliate link, if you didn't know what that does, when you go there, you'll pay the normal price. And those guys will say, hey, JB, thank you. Here's a little something, something for you. So please support the channel and see you in the next video.